Hi, this is Ali from Safnet uh, Health Technical Support. Uh, I would like to show you here how to use the C Runtime API. So I go to C Profile Safnet Sentinel Asp API Runtime C Win32, and here I find all the files that I would need in order to use the Runtime API for the C. The first one would be, of course, the header file that I need to use, and then I can choose either I would like to use static library or dynamic library. For the static library I will choose Libas Windows Demo Lib for Microsoft and if I have Ball and C this would be the static library. And if I would like to choose a dynamic library has Windows Demo DLL would be the one. I can even make it easier to be compiled uh, by using uh, this one so uh, I can use the dynamic library uh, in my project more easily as if it is like a static one. Uh, I will choose uh, to work with the uh, with this one with the with the dynamic with the static library. Uh, obviously, all the files here are of uh, demo ma one. Uh, you see that uh, each one of them has the underscore demo. Uh, if you would use your own batch code, it would be like the same f the same file name except for the instead of uh, underscore demo, you will find underscore and a number which represents your vendor ID. So I will choose this one, and I have here a uh, Visual Studio uh, 2010, and here there is a project uh, which is uh, as a matter of fact C++. However, I might use the C API inside uh, the C++. Uh, so the, f the very first thing that I have done is just to copy uh, these two files, the header file and the static uh, library into my project. They are here, ASP API and Libas Windows Demo. And then I also uh, included the header file over here and I went to the project properties into uh, the linker input and I've added the name of the library to the end of it. Here it is, Libas Windows Demo Lib. So it's ready. And then uh, for the source code, the easiest thing to do, I just went to, to the toolbox uh, and change in file settings so uh, the language to show here would be C API and then if I go to login uh, into my demo MA obviously if uh, uh, as you as a vendor would need to change it into your batch code and then over here I get a, a source code I just copy paste it, the same as it is, I copy paste it into my project, um, it's over here, this is the, the code, the very same code, I just copied paste it into here, and uh, so it's ready uh, over here, let's uh, first compile it and uh, make sure that uh, I have no errors seems like okay it's just a simple application doing nothing uh, let's see if it's going it's if it's working I will wait here and do control F10 in order to reach this place and then do uh, F10 or F11 and see whether the status yes I can see that the status return from the has plugin is status okay so it's mean, it means that it is working. I can also open the admin control center and over here I can see that I have one session to feature number zero which is the one that I uh, targeted in, in this code. Um, so it seems to be working, very easy to work. Thank you for watching.